Hey everyone, my name is Micah Rice. I'm the Arts Marketing Coordinator here at the Creative Center, and welcome to our event on Facebook Live, Soup, Sip, and Shop at Home. Now normally this is something we do here in the gallery with crowds of people in showing our clients artwork and selling that for them, but this year, due to the pandemic, we're having to be creative, think outside the box, and we're doing this online. So that's why we're doing this here. What you're about to see is we're gonna be going through the gallery, hearing from different staff members and instructors about the artworks that we have available for you to buy on our online store. And we are unveiling that today and we're so excited to show off to you our online store for you to buy our client's artwork on our website. It's thecreativecenter-vicelia.org and you'll see the store button up on the top right of your screen. I'm so excited to get to show that to you. Since we can't be in person to sell these artworks to you all, you can buy them there at any point. Now, I'm going to introduce to you all our executive director, Joel. Good evening and welcome. My name is Joel Glick. I'm the executive director here at the Creative Center. We are very excited to have you be a part of our Facebook Live event, Soup, Sip, and Shop at Home. A little bit about the Creative Center. The Creative Center is a nonprofit, state licensed adult daycare facility for adults with developmental disabilities. Their disabilities range from autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, and other mental disorders. We strive to teach self expression, self worth, and personal growth through the arts. Our main focus here is that our clients achieve their life goals. We encourage everybody to take a look at our clients' fine artwork. Please purchase the items from our clients. And remember, this helps them with their self-expression and self-worth and personal growth. When you make a purchase, they are so proud of being able to sell something that they've created. We'll continue to stream this on Facebook Live, and we also have an online store at the Creative Center website. We appreciate you being a part of this event, and I'd like to turn it over to Micah. Micah? Well, thanks, Joel. Now we're gonna be hearing from some of our instructors who are gonna be featuring some of our artists and their artworks that they've been creating. So we'll start it off with Jeanette, who has been heading up our visual arts department. So Jeanette, you're next. Hi, this is Jeanette from the Creative Center, and I'm one of the artists that help the students create their own expressions. We do many things beyond paper and canvas. We also work in sculpture and printmaking and many other areas. But one of the things that we like to do is to work creatively through the crafts so that they're expressing themselves in fused glass in this area. And in fused glass, we have a student over here. Her name is Lori Cave that has been working in a Southwestern design. It does extend out. That's why it's looped. So it's a lower piece for those of you that like those kind of pieces. Um, and she has worked hand the pattern design in um, that she selected to go to accent the fused piece. These are some wonderful pieces that we have for earrings. Uh, they're great stocking stuffers. We got these done one week before COVID, so they were all ready for me to fire when I came back. And we uh, uh, put the earring pieces on them for you so that you can select those for some of your gifts. And another piece that we have here in Fused Glass is something done by Richard Birch. And we were experimenting with stenciling and um, also stamping. So there's two different techniques that we used on that in order to create it. So we're always trying new techniques to come up with new wonderful gift ideas for you and your family and friends. There are just a few necklaces left. So if you want them, I would grab them because we didn't get to do that with COVID this year. We do, there's many other things in the cabinet here. If you uh, want to take a look at those online, all of this is available. And Micah, it's back to you. Well, thank you, Jeanette. Now we're gonna hear from one of our instructors, um, Janice, who teaches ceramics among other art forms here at the Creative Center. So Janice, up to you. Hi there, I'm Janice, the ceramics teacher here at the Creative Center, and I'd like to spotlight three of our 
most prolific ceramicists here. Um, on the top shelf, we have Nicole Garcia. She's um, mostly in, co she does coil work and slab work, and she did this cute little uh, wind chime over here that are ladybugs. This, the lower shelf is Jared, and he does 90-90% coil work, and these vases, bowls, um, pitchers, candle holders, where, whatever, wherever it takes him. And then uh, Vanessa Castellanos, she's mostly slab work, but she's got a really unique design that she puts on all of them. So um, we're really proud of these guys and, and um, all the efforts they put into their work. You've got a nice piece here by Maria Hernandez that's an owl, a carving into the clay. And then all of the other stuff here on the shelves are available at the online store. Got some nice vases here, mermaid vase there, bowls, dishes, you name it, we've got it. So come on down to the online store and get your Creative Center ceramics. Thank you so much. Micah, back to you. All right, thank you, Janice. Now we're gonna hear from our instructor, Neil, who teaches drawing and painting among other art forms here at the Creative Center. So Neil, I'll hand it off to you. Hi, I'm Neil from the Creative Center, and John McCord has been one of my best students for many years. And here he spontaneously drew this out in just a, a matter of minutes, painting the old church next door in a dark night with the figure looking up to the sky, and then these beautiful brush marks that he does with the brush in his mouth and the swing of his head. So this one I think is a real special one, very unique for him. And then I gave Tim Buss this odd sized canvas to see what he could do with it. And we found this image in a magazine picture and then he added this Native American looking figure squatting on a rock with the river and the reflection from the snow covered cliffs behind and they named it Yosemite Valley. This one, Matthew McMurtry is new and he draws very, very well and he's trying to make the transmission, transition from drawing to painting. And he did this of a very popular student, Dolly, and, and he just captured the warmth and the, and the presence that this popular student had with everybody. And I just thought it was so successful for such a, a new artist um, exploring a new medium. Well, thank you, Neil. Now, I just want to emphasize to you all again here at the end, check out our online store. I'm so excited for you all to get to see it. There's so many great artworks that our artists have made on there. They're so proud to get to show them off. And every purchase you make goes back to them. 80% of the money you spend on their artwork goes directly to our clients. And then the remaining 20% goes towards the supplies and materials for them to continue making artwork here in the studios at the Creative Center. So really, every penny that you spend on the artwork here goes to supporting our clients, to helping them in their self-expression, in self-value, and personal growth. So, on behalf of everyone here at the Creative Center, just want to say to all of you, thank you so much, have a great night. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.